There's no, no doubt that Dylan Rowland will make a difference to those around him, whether it be on or off the football field. Mr. Dylan Rowland. I think it was a lot of prayer, a lot of discussion with my family. Um, I mean, it, it was just something that I grew up in, and, and it's always tugging at my heart. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to ignore it. And, uh, you know, I explored the option, and, you know, God put me in a position to, you know, make the decision to go to Nebraska. What would you say made Nebraska the place for you? I think everything about it. Um, you know, my legacy, my dad went there. Um, I think just the fit overall uh, to, to be a part of something bigger than myself. Um, and it was really just, just something I prayed about, and it really came to my heart, and, uh, you know, it's something that I felt convicted about. How hard of a decision was it, especially, um, just, you know, you're here in Georgia, and you're close to the UGA. Obviously, family in Nebraska is a strong fit. How hard of it was it a hard decision, or was family making it easier? I think it was one of the hardest decisions I had to make. Uh, you know, people talk about a grown man decision. I think that was one of these, but um, it was hard. I, you know, I really enjoyed getting to Coach Smart, his whole staff, Coach Bubba. Um, and quite honestly, you know, to leave leave a program like like Georgia to go to a place like Nebraska, you know, where people people around the country forget how much of a great program Nebraska is. And uh, I think, you know, I can't wait to get in there with my teammates and get to work. You sense that. With, with Coach Rule and, and, and your uh, recruitment and your commitment now, that there's kind of a buzz again about Nebraska. I mean, your dad was there, he's been there, his uncle's there. Can you sense that people are excited about Nebraska? Yeah, I think Nebraska's fans have always been, been one of the best. Um, you know, it's definitely an excitement. You can feel it. But, I, you know, there's a lot of work to be done from, from now until, you know, when a game happens. So I think just enjoying each moment, uh, each step of the journey, not getting too high, not getting too low, and really just having a lot of fun. In, in the whole process, what was really most important to you? I think relationships, people that I, who I trusted, um, trusted Coach, Coach Smart, trusted everybody. I think it just came down to what I wanted to do. Um, and at the end of the day, it's the decision I made, and uh, you know I'm happy to you know, be a Cornhusker. And to be able to play somewhere with your dad was such a legend. So you know that's, that's got to be a great thing for you too. Right? Yeah, it's special. Uh, I mean, his name's in the stadium, um, and it's just just a historic program, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And my last question is, obviously, where you at now in Georgia? It's gonna be a lot colder. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I mean, I lived in cold weather before in Michigan. Um, football is probably going to be a little different, but at the end of the day, you're playing ball, playing a sport that you grew up playing and loving. So uh, I don't think it's going to be much different. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, shoot, snow games are going to be are going to be crazy. A lot of people talk about, you know, obviously the SEC and the attention that conference gets. Mm -hmm. And we're playing in the Big Ten. Let's talk about Big Ten ball. Yeah, I think SEC is a great conference. Um, you know, obviously they get most of the views from everybody, but uh, you know, Big Ten's a good, great conference as well. Um, every defense is very well polished. Uh, great coaches all around the league. They store programs everywhere, uh, and you're just playing football at the end of the day. And, and I think you know, playing the SEC would be fun. Uh, it'd be great, but you know, I, I'm excited for the Big Ten.